Hi, welcome to another video. So, I recently saw a new AI coding model that seems to be quite good. But this one is a bit different, and I think you'll see why. I'm talking about KimiDev 72B, which is made by Moonshot AI. If you haven't heard of them, they've had some good LLMs that I've also talked about before. And this latest one is specifically tuned for software engineering tasks especially issue resolution. But the best part is that it's completely open source, and you can actually deploy it yourself, or just use it for free through a bunch of different platforms, which is pretty cool. So, what makes KimiDev 72B stand out? Basically, what it does is take the Quen 2.5-72B base, which is already a really strong model, and then fine-tune it using this massive reinforcement learning setup. The crazy part is, they actually have the model patch real repositories inside Docker containers, and then only reward it if the entire test suite passes. That's a huge deal, because it means the model is learning to write code that actually works, not just code that looks right. And apparently, it's working, because KimiDev 72B just set a new state-of-the-art among open-source models on SWE Bench Verified, hitting 60.4%. That's higher than anything else that's open right now, which is quite awesome. Now, let me show you how you can use it. And as we proceed, I'll also tell you what makes it quite a bit different from the other models out there. First off, you can just grab the model weights from Hugging Face, or you can use the demo space they've set up if you don't want to mess with local installs. But if you're like me and want to run things locally, it's actually pretty straightforward. You just clone the repo from GitHub, create a new conda environment for Python 3.12 comma, and then pip install it in editable mode. It's all standard Python stuff, nothing weird or proprietary, which I really like. And then, for serving, they recommend VLLM, which is becoming the go-to for large models these days. You just pip install VLLM and then launch the server with a single command, pointing it at the KimiDev 72B weights. It'll even make use of SUDE 12.8 if you have the right GPU, which is pretty good. So, once you've got it running, what can you actually do with it? Well, the main thing is code repair and test writing. The way it works is pretty clever. First, it does this file-level localization. So instead of trying to guess which lines to change, it picks out the key files that need to be edited based on the problem description and the repo structure. That's a big step up from some of the older models that just tried to patch everything at once. Then it passes the whole file to the next step, which is where it actually makes the edits, whether that's fixing bugs or inserting new unit tests. I've tried it on a couple of real-world repos, and the results are honestly impressive. It's not just making random changes. It's actually reasoning about the repo and the problem, which is something I've really wanted in these LLMs for a while. But now comes the best part, and that is, you're not locked into any one platform. You can use KimiDev 72B through Hugging Face's demo space if you just want to play around with it in the browser, or you can call it via an API through OpenRouter. In fact, OpenRouter has a free tier for this model, so you can actually use it via their OpenAI-compatible API at zero cost which is pretty wild. There are already a bunch of apps integrating it, stuff like Klein, RuCode, and KiloCode, which are all coding agents. Let me show you how you can set it up with something like Klein, RuCode, or KiloCode as well. Now, before proceeding, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Ninja Tools. 
Ninja Tools is a crazy AI platform where you pay once and access all AI models and agents at one place. It combines all the best AI models and experiences. It allows you to save over $600 per year compared to having separate subscriptions. You get access to Claude, 3.7 Sonnet, GPT-4.0, Gemini, and a ton of other models in one subscription. You even get some more cool options like AI video generation, image generation, music generation, and document chats. You can also use their playground to compare multiple AI responses at once. The best part is that it just starts from $11 per month that gives you more than 1,000 chat messages, 30 AI image generation, and five music generation. While there is also some even more advanced plans if you need them, make sure to check Ninja Tools out and save some money on your subscription while you're at it. Now back to the video. So you can just head on over to VS Code and in here, you can update it accordingly. Then, go ahead and either, if you are running it locally, use Alama or the compatible option, or if you are using the Open Router free variant, you can also select Open Router and use that. But, for even more free tier and higher limits, you can use Kilo Code. Kilo Code is basically like Roo Code, but with many features added on top making it even better. It also gives you free $20 credits, which is just awesome. So, you can just head on over here, then select the Kilo Code provider, and then search for Kimi Dev, and you should be good to go. It works quite well and is really good, but you're going to need a pretty beefy GPU if you want to run this locally. The 72B parameter size is no joke. So, that is an issue you will face with this. If this was like a 32B model, then I'd have really liked it. But the 72B variant is a lot bigger and not something easily runnable locally, which puts it in a bit of a limbo situation. It's also still early days. So there isn't a huge ecosystem of plugins or SDKs yet, though I imagine that'll change pretty quickly given how active the team seems to be. The documentation is good, but there's still a lot of coming soon stuff, like the full tech report. And while the model is really strong on SWE Bench Verified, I'd love to see more real world benchmarks, especially on larger enterprise code bases. But even with those caveats, it's a massive leap forward for open source coding LLMs. I mean, I liked it. I really liked it and have been using it which is why I thought to share it with you guys as well. If you're into AI coding tools, or you just want a free alternative to the big proprietary models, you should definitely give Kimi Dev 72B a try. The fact that it's open source, high performing, and actually usable right now is a pretty big deal. And I'm really curious to see where the community takes it, especially once more people start building on top of it. I really liked it and thought to share it as well. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.